Tonight here at 6, today we got 252 pages of documents from LMPD of their investigation into the sexual abuse that happened in the former Youth Explorers Police Program. Haley Minogue has been pouring through these documents today and has the three things we are learning from them. Doug, I got through as much of the 252 pages as I could and I learned a few things from reading through. First, in a memorandum dated September 5th of 2013, a text conversation between ex-cop Kenneth Betts and a 16-year-old female explorer is shared. Within the conversation, the girl tells Betts which explorer advisor is present at the detail that she's working, which is a church picnic. Betts tells that victim, maybe I should come out and see you, and then asked if he should wear uniform or plain clothes. He then says, I want to surprise you, and I really want to make out. An investigator notes at this point, Officer Brandon Paris was with the female victim, telling her what to type. Second, within all of these documents, LMPD's PSU interviews Officer Paris about that night at the picnic. Officer Paris says he was sitting in his cruiser when the victim asked to sit in the cruiser with him and starts telling him about the text from Betts that she called weird. Paris goes on to say the female says Betts sent her photos of a guy's chest and she didn't think it was his because the guy had abs and she didn't think that he had abs. And third, there's a sworn statement from a male victim of ex-cop Kenny Betts. He says he met Betts when he joined the Explorer program and they became friends. Then he says Betts began suggesting sexual situations involving his girlfriend and the teen boy. At one point, the boy gets a speeding ticket and is concerned it will ruin his chances of being a police officer, to which he says Betts tells him he'll wipe the ticket in exchange for a sexual favor. Betts is one of three officers serving time in the Explorer program sex abuse scandal. He's currently serving a 16 year federal sentence, which will be followed by 20 years of supervised release. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Haley Minogue.